Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where today, yes, I am going to be covering altcoins. I'm going to be talking about the, well, what can I say, the massive opportunity that we have in front of us right now. I mean, I've always loved to trade altcoins, don't get me wrong, but right now it's just like the volatility is back. It feels, it just feels good to be trading the altcoins again. I'm not going to lie. So I, I want to give the love to the altcoins today. Of course, I cannot ignore the love of my life. And that is, of course, Bitcoin. So we'll do a quick one minute review on Bitcoin. But then I want to move on to the altcoins today. Uh, you know, the ones that I am most interested in, looking primarily at Ethereum, because Ethereum is the we could say the big daddy of the alts. The altcoins generally are following along on Ethereum. So we'll take a look at alts, Ethereum, and starting here with a very quick review of Bitcoin because I, I cannot ignore it. Uh, so yeah, real simple. Pick up where I left off my video yesterday, right? Uh, where we were still looking at this internal range to be trading. Obviously, originally, this was from the 11th of April. We recognized this small internal range to trade where we had the short trade off of the 30,500 SFP. So we're looking for the rise for the SFP for a short and we get a long trade off of the range low of an SFP. So we're looking for an SFP of the high, a swing failure pattern of the range low. Intraday, we had the scope long off of the swing failure pattern of 30,000. Done a real quick review that I'm going to talk you through here now and then we'll move on to Ethereum. Uh, but you can see here how from that original channel that was recognized, we actually went up to swing failure pattern 30,500 as we were looking for, moved down to swing failure pattern, the double bottom at $30,000 for the scope long opportunity, which was brought up to the CC to the exact dollar, which in the end brought us down to the swing failure pattern of the range low. So from the SFP of a 30,500 to the SFP of range low, that is how you short the exact high and long the exact low on Bitcoin. Okay, then real simple. I done this update yesterday. Of course, we had before we had taken this high. I'm telling you all, of course, all the updates are first of all in my group. You have to understand that all the updates go first inside of the Discord, then over on YouTube, like you're watching now and Twitter. Uh, but I basically told you all, you know, I've closed out the short trade from the range high. That was a good at swing failure pattern. We obviously brought it all the way down to range low. I have closed out that short trade. I have left the long running. Why? Because I remain bullish. I expect higher prices to come. You can understand here, once again, I'm putting myself in this position where if I am wrong, well, I would hold up my hands and say, hey, I got that call wrong. I closed my short early and we dropped. You know, that would be an unfortunate situation. But once again, I got this one right. I closed my short before we had took out that high. And well, here we are up at around $31,000, which really simply is that previous range value area high, right? The, 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 the analysis has been simple, simple. Get above the value area low, look for that value area high. You know, this was from my last Champions live stream. Well, you know, I stuck to the plan, simple stuff, and here we are back at $31,000. So, uh, yeah, that's enough talking about Bitcoin. I actually want to focus on Ethereum on this video. That's the main focus of this video. Uh, so real simply, uh, ETH, I want to start off looking at ETH against BTC, then ETH against USD, and then uh, some of the mid-smaller cap altcoins, right? So looking here at ETH BTC, uh, real simple stuff. We can actually see we've got this bounce off of the trend line. So this is a very important trend line. Okay, so this is a very important trend line. This is one that I've been sharing uh, with my champions. This was uh, the last Champions live stream. Also, I, I mainly covered altcoins in this video because I recognized the opportunities were coming in in, in the alts. I was telling my team how I am uh, bullish on Ethereum, bullish on altcoins, expecting higher prices to come. Uh, but we still had this untapped trend line you can see here. So this trend line has now been tapped with this value area low getting a swing failure pattern. What a surprise, right? Swing failure pattern. So this is our important trend line. This is my 2-4 trend line based off of Elliott Wave theory. Um, we tapped the trend line absolutely perfectly. We got this swing failure pattern of the low that was put in a few weeks ago, right? So we got a swing failure pattern onto the value area low, tapping our trend line. Simple stuff. When you've got the plan, you're ready and waiting for it. You got that lovely reaction off of that. So it's like I was telling my team, we have tapped the key trend line as I gave you all last week. Now we've got the swing failure pattern of the range low of the key support. And for me, you know, I am bullish. 
I am looking for higher prices on ETH. At the time, still looking for just $2,032. Of course, now we're trading $2,100. So uh, it's like I'm saying over on, on, on Twitter. Again, the updates are delayed on Twitter. It's always in the group first. But really simply, I'm telling you all I'm bullish and long on Ethereum, expecting higher prices to come. Also still buying more altcoins. You know, there's a lot of opportunity right now, a lot of profits to be made. So, um, you know, that's giving you the review of what's happened, how we got here and why this bounce started to, uh, you know, get underway more locally over the past 24 hours. So now let's move on to talk about, uh, you know, what's happening now and what we can be looking for next. So real simple, um, the way the altcoin market works. So I've recognized these opportunities have been coming. Why? Because it, generally this is the cycle. So as you, many of you may already know, but I'll r remind people that don't. You got the Bitcoin pump, and then that Bitcoin money generally goes into the larger cap altcoins such as ETH. And then that money starts to trickle down into your smaller cap altcoins. Okay, so you're starting with Bitcoin moves. Okay, Bitcoin generally moves up, and then that money starts to go into an ETH and your, you know, your top five, ten altcoins, and then that starts to move down into the mid caps and the ending with the alt, you know, the smaller alt caps. So it's trying to do these like cycles, the way that the moves work, and you know, being re we've been recognizing the opportunities for a while uh, that have been coming on the altcoins. You know, I've been accumulating, buying altcoins <laughs> bit by bit, just coming in here, daily buying up my altcoins. And, you know, putting in the opportunities because I've, of course, recognized the large Bitcoin rise. You know, I've been very bullish now since $17,000. I didn't buy the exact low on Bitcoin at 15 k but I got very bullish from the start of 2023. So four months now, I've been very bullish, looking for higher and had full confidence and focus on higher prices to come. And that goes to show you once again, like you don't need to buy the exact low. <laughs> but uh, once you recognize that sign of strength and the turn of the market, undeniable you know i've been very bullish for the past four months now and you know recognizing that strength on bitcoin being confident on that it gave me a lot more confidence to start accumulating altcoins again so not just um you know not just long on eve but i've also been buying other altcoins you can see in here you know hundreds and thousands of dollars coming in here buying the altcoins here buying you know, this is around i don't know uh, four hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars worth of dot uh, coming in here buying uh, it's probably around $150,000 of altcoins. But, you know, just daily coming in here each morning, coming in and just simply buying more altcoins. And this is what I call like accumulation. So I'm, I'm coming in here. You know, this is, again, another half a million worth, something like this of, of altcoins. You know, I'm just coming in here daily buying more. And it's generally between 100,000, half a million, just coming in here and I'm basically using my Bitcoin profits to accumulate the alts. I'm not personally putting in any, any fresh, anything fresh, right? So I'll talk you through the cycle that I personally use. And that is trade Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin is where I'm, you know, focused on the majority of the time, right? Bitcoin is my main focus. I've, I've even now started to trade stocks less and like, I'm just totally focused on the cryptocurrency market. For me, this is the opportunities right now. So I trade Bitcoin and with my Bitcoin profits, of course, I'm doing, you could say I'm doing pretty well recently, right? <laughs> uh, with my Bitcoin profits, I'm then moving that across to altcoins. And I'm personally using Bybit for this and I'm just, uh, making my money off of the derivatives of trading BTC USD, BTC against Tether, and then sending that profit from the derivatives over to the spot account. And then on the spot account is where I'm buying up the altcoins. And I'm generally, um, you know, depending on the profit of the day, of course, but, you know, I'm managing to get in here around 100,000 to half a million. And I'm using that profit then to just accumulate altcoins. And so, you know, I've been doing this now, you know, Pretty much every day, just slowly buying more and buying more and buying more. And, you know, I've been, of course, I've been accumulating some of these altcoins for years now. Okay, if you've been a long time member and, you know, I've been uh, buying DOT, Atom, you know, these coins for, for a few years. Uh, but recently, during 2022, I, I stopped accumulating the altcoins because, of course, we were in a big bear market. You know, but with the turn of the market, resumed back into buying these altcoins, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's gone pretty well so far. But that's the general, you know, quick review of this. And now we have had the bounce off this very important trend line onto the value area low on ETH. Okay, and I want to just explain briefly why this is such an important um, trend line to be aware of. And uh, this is 
based off of Elliott wave theory, it's your two, four trend line. Basically, if we had lost this support, one would have, you know, basically saw a large move to the downside. And so when you have such a key level of support, that is the best opportunity to buy, right? So if you're at the massive level of support, and if that level is lost, you expect an extreme move to the downsides. Well, that then in turn offers you the best buying opportunity because you have the smallest invalidation and the biggest, you know, reward to risk ratio. You come down there with a swing failure pattern of your previous low onto the important trend line, onto the value area low of like our year, multi-year range, right? This is like just, just screaming buy opportunity. And so we did get that bounce underway and we have started to get our move up. Of course, at the end of the day, this is just a totally range bound asset. Um, so you got to remember that. But nevertheless, we have got that bounce off the value area low. So it makes sense now on ETH BGC to be moving back up towards the point of control. Okay, that's just simply the, the ebb and flow of the market. We've come down here, we've taken some lows. In my opinion, it continue, makes sense to continue this move up here locally on ETH. What this means for ETH against USD is naturally a continued move to the upside, in my opinion. Uh, so here we are trading around 2,100. ETH is uh, an altcoin that I am long on, but I'm not as interested in trading ETH as, ETH as I am the other altcoins. I look at ETH because ETH is kind of the leading way. If Ethereum is moving up, generally the other altcoins are moving up alongside it. If Ethereum is moving down, they're generally moving down along with it. So right now, of course, ETH is getting the, the biggest volatility, but I still prefer to trade some of the, what you could refer to as the smaller to mid caps, okay? I have a lot of focus on Sheepcoin, Tezos, GRT, DOT, Atom, Algo, Cardano, uh, Link is another one that I'm very interested in. I've not got it on this section on my watch list, but e, uh, Link is another one that I'm interested in. I'm starting to get into IMX and Matic again. You know, Doge, of course, you can't forget Doge. <laughs> you know, the altcoins right now in general are, are for me, getting a lot of opportunity. Uh, so one thing that I want to just also remind you of is that recently, it's two days ago now, you had the, uh, one day ago, you had the Ethereum uh, unlock, which was the upgrade, right? And that had the potential of, ba basically, people that had staked their Ethereum had their staking unlocked and they could do with it whatever they want. And it really seems that instead of selling their ETH to cash, you know, you know, seemingly here they're starting to well, either buy more ETH or moving this into the other altcoins, which is a positive for the space. So you're not seeing money come out, you're actually seeing money come in and moved around across different caps. So this is a positive for the space, uh, in my opinion. Um, one thing that I would kind of remind people of is the risk to reward here is now diminishing with time. That's something to pay attention to. You know, I'm, I'm talking about big opportunities, volatility, but I also have a, a responsibility to not just come in here and shill and tell people to buy. And, you know, I have no need to do that. I'm not ever trying to pump anything that I have. Like, I, you have to understand as well, like this for me is money I, I really don't need. You know, coming in here, putting in half a meal, makes no difference to me if this goes to zero, or if, if it goes to 100, really makes no difference to me. The money I don't need, I'm not in here to try and pump for something I have. I really couldn't care less of, you know, in that regards about it. This opportunity at the end of the day, trading for me is a game and it's, it is fun. And so, um, yeah, I just wanna say this, a very important point. You know, if you're coming in here and you're FOMOing in now, you are too late. You know, you have to remember there's been opportunities now for, you know, a few months to be getting in here and buying the altcoins, buying them and accumulating them slowly. Now we've seen the breakout. You, you are getting diminished, uh, you know, returns to the risk because right now the risk is relatively high in terms of the rewards. Okay, you have to think where's your invalidation, where's your stop loss. It's kind of hard to do that after such an extreme move to the upside. So one would simply uh, have to remain a bit patient here to wait for pullbacks. You know, I wouldn't be an advocate of jumping in here right now and, and FOMOing into anything, you know. At the end of the day, I just also want to remind you, no financial advice, do your own research. I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> you know, I'm not advocating anything at all here. I'm just giving you my opinions, educational reasons of the market, no financial advice. But for me, yeah, I overall do expect higher on ETH. 
I do overall expect higher on the altcoins right now. Of course, I can have invalidations on this, and my primary trading asset is always Bitcoin. But for me, the alt opportunities on the alts are, are large. So you can actually see that one of the main reasons why on this, if we just hide everything here and come to the daily, this um, Ethereum USD chart, you can see is broken out of this like yearly long range, and it's not got too much resistance above us. So next, locally, we can see we got the resistance that's coming in next. Well, let's just be precise here. Of around 20, 2,100, and let's just say 2,160 to $70, right? And if we actually break that, we'd be then looking way up to around 2,550 to 2,600. Okay, that would be our major point of control. So we've just broke out of this really large range value area low. So now we'd actually be looking up towards the point of control. So this is, again, we do have to clear this next immediate level above us. Okay, so this is something to be aware of. This is a level that you can reject from. Okay, that you can reject from that level, right? So that's something to be aware of. But if we clear that, we're actually looking for a large move continuation to around 2,600. Bitcoin will have to be moving up for this to occur. Right? I do, do truly believe that if Bitcoin starts to tumble down, something to always remember. If Bitcoin starts to tumble down, then these altcoins are going to tumble down, you know, just as hard, if not harder, likely harder. So Bitcoin is reliant here. It always is the case. Bitcoin is the major big daddy. Ethereum is the big daddy of the altcoins. But Bitcoin is, this is why it's my main focus and attention. If Bitcoin tumbles, the altcoin market will tumble. That's why you do have to play caution to the wind here. Um, but that said, Bitcoin is still not getting any weakness right now. Okay, it's still moving up. It's still in an uptrend. Uh, there's no reason at the moment to be like ultra bearish on that. And so with Ethereum also with its target target above us against the BTC pair, and Ethereum against USD still with its target, uh, you know, quite a bit higher to be fair. Both of those assets have room to breathe to the upside. So how then do we get into long trades on these assets? Well, it would be off of intraday lower term time frame setups. Look at this. We've really simply got a range here to be forming on ETH. OK, so we're going to have to move into the, the charts and start to do lower term time frame analysis. That's how, you know, of course, if you're looking for swing trades and you're buying it off of the top of, a, you know, 20 percent move to the upside. Clearly, it's a, a bad trade because here on the daily, where, where is your target? Well, it could, could simply be one hundred dollars above us and you're using a stop loss of like three hundred dollars. It's just awful risk to reward, very big FOMO. So the only natural way to be able to get into the position is a lower term time frame, because then on the lower term time frame, that's when you have a different view of the chart, a more closer invalidation, uh, where you could look for an SFB of the local range. Okay, so yeah, for me, this is kind of the warm up video, I will be doing a more in depth video on altcoins. Okay, I've been talking about video of altcoins, of course, and this altcoin video I'm going to be releasing on the CC Pool channel. Uh, I'm going to do a few different videos on here, and they are released for next week and the week after. So if you want to get the more in-depth video, this is just, uh, you know, making you aware it will be released only on the CC Pool channel. I'm going to go a little bit more into staking. Uh, the altcoins that I personally accumulate and stake for the long-term holds, reasons why, how that's gone. You know, the video is uh, actually recorded and, and ready to be released, and it will be released on the CC Pool channel. So make sure you go over. I'll leave it in the comments down below. Go over to the CC Pool channel and subscribe to that. That's where the next few videos are going to be released. Okay, just to make you aware. Um, but yeah, for me, there's a few things that I want to talk about here before we end. So a reminder, I trade on the... Bitcoin uh, USD and tether pairs to generate profits. With those profits, I send it to spot. With that, I then am buying and accumulating the spot altcoin. With that, then I am uh, staking this or using what is known as uh, earn. Okay, <laughs> earn. Um, basically, this is another alternative that you can use. Uh, I like to stake on Ledger and also using the Bybit earn. Again, do your own research on this, not telling you this, bringing this to your attention. This is what I personally do. So you can do whatever you want, really. But I like to come in here and in here with, for example, we can be coming in and I'm using Atom. So this is earning me 6.5% APY. Again, I'm getting more percentage via Ledger. Um, but the downside of this is, you know, you have to pick your own validators. And this does come with increased risk, right? Because if you pick a bad validator and you do absolutely no research, then 
that, that that's you know a risk so you know you've got a few different options of where to stake this of course the advantage of bybit is just simple you do it all off from the exchange but here you have a whole different, you know, you have a whole a whole, whole list of different altcoins. It's like I was saying to my team yesterday, that at the end of the day, even if you just have Tether, you can still stick it in Earn and be earning on buy a bit here, like 5.5% uh, APY. Of course, there are limits, etc. But, um, you know, this is just a good thing to be aware of, like the way that you be, can, can be doing this. And I made it very clear to my team yesterday that even if you are, you know, staking this and doing it for more the long term, you still got to be looking at things such as hedging. Okay, that means taking shorts on the tether pair. So for example, if I'm accumulating um, Atom, let's say, because that is one of the assets I'm accumulating. If I'm accumulating Atom, it doesn't mean I'm just buying and holding it forever. I'm actually at, you know, strategic places on the charts of resistance taking head shorts. Um, why is that? Well, simply because you know, we have had drawdowns on Atom of like 60%, right? So if I just hold, uh, same on DOT, you know, I was buying DOT from $5 all the way to $50. And if I held from $50 all the way back down to $5, you know, I'm in extreme loss. But on the drawdown through 2022, you know, I'm taking short trades on DOT um, to hedge myself on that drawdown. So I'm still able to accumulate and buy more DOT, but I took the short position basically to hedge my sport assets. So this is somewhat a complex strategy. It's not too hard, but it, it's not the most easiest thing for beginners, but it is something you have to wrap your head around. You cannot just be coming in here, staking and buying and thinking you're going to become very rich. No, that's not the case. You do have to, you, in my opinion, you cannot just buy and hold. Again, people are going to have their differences and differences of opinions against that. But in my opinion, you cannot just buy and hold assets. Let's take a look at a Litecoin, for example. Okay, if you just buy and hold these things, uh, you know, people will say, "Oh, yeah, no, it's just going to go up. It's going to go up. It's going to go up." Well, just look at historically speaking, how much of these assets have just gone up? No, if you look at pretty much all of these altcoins, they are down. Okay, they are down. So you cannot just think to yourself, oh yeah, I'm just going to buy and hold altcoins because they're going to go up. You know, generally speaking, that's not the case. There is big risks and the majority of them drop very hard. So there is opportunity with staking. There is opportunity, of course, for big upside gains. But if you are not trading the altcoin alongside it, you're just buying and holding and hoping for the best. You're not taking any hedge tradings. Then I think that's not the strategy to be using. And I think not just I think, I think we can see in front of our eyes on the chart that if you do just buy and hold, okay, let's put this on the logarithmic scale. If you just buy and hold, then you are likely going to be down a lot of money on your investment. And not just likely, we can kind of see it in front of our eyes. Most of those altcoins are down. So that's not just to put a downer on you and make you sad, but it's just you know reminding you that, that that's realistic when it comes to altcoins. So this was my uh, video. I just want to <laughs> make it clear one more time. Okay, altcoins, big opportunities. Don't just FOMO in at the top. Look for lower term time frame entries. I do think if you're looking for long term holds, hedging is still a good strategy when you get to certain key levels of resistance on the chart. Uh, the video that I will release next week on the CC pool channel. Um, I have several different staking accounts and I'm gonna use one of those accounts to show you some monetary values. That account averages around $2,000 a day in staking rewards. So, you know, there's absolutely nothing I need to do. And that's averaging around two to $3,000 uh, staking rewards a day. So it's just like sit back, relax, guaranteed to make $2,000 a day. Uh, so that's one of the many accounts that I have, and we'll be using that as the example. Uh, so yeah, I think you're going to learn a lot from that video. And then once you've learned from that video, if you're interested in this, this is of course like a high overview. If you want me to be more precise, um, starting to do technical analysis on the altcoins, let me know down below. I'll be very interested to hear your feedback on this video. Did you enjoy it? Did you not? You know, I've tried to talk about a few different topics that I really don't generally talk about. Um... But yeah, I personally prefer to focus on the technical analysis. So if you want some altcoin technical analysis, let me know down below and I can, of course, bring you that. And with that said, a bit of news on the website, of course, for the mentorship of Chart Champions, we're going to start doing a lot more focus on altcoins and actually bringing out some new features for the alts as well. Um, because, you know, that that's 
it's what I'm getting back into. So <laughs> I want to get take advantage of this. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and be sure to check out our next video over on the CC Pool channel. Uh, yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you in that. Cheers, thank you, and that's me signing out. Goodbye.